Uh, I mean, how many times have you done this now? A couple of years, right? Yeah, so this, this will be, in real life, this will be the third time that I've helped with the backstage red slash blue carpet content for mm. Biffa. After everything that's been going on, have you been feeling a bit kind of nervous about it? Not nervous. I'm really excited and sort of raring to go. Um, the Biffa Awards are something that either rounds off or begins the award calendar, depending on how you look at it. And um, it's one of the most fun because you see when it comes to independent film, everyone's really put their heart and soul and usually money into these movies. So when they're celebrating them and when they're being celebrated themselves, it's the best type of party, if you know what I mean. Like it, it's one of those ones that, um, really feels alive in in the flesh how are you feeling about being on the team this year oh my god I'm so excited I don't know about you yeah but for years now I've kind of watched awards and stuff on tv thinking oh my god look at all these stars and the red carpet they look amazing um and so to be a part of that this year as you say we're such like passionate teams behind it you know as you say independent film is such an interesting beast in itself because people are there because they genuinely care for the art that they make so to be there and be a part of it and everyone being excited I'm buzzing I think it's all one of those things that's like a pinch moment for me to kind of be there and take it all in and meet really interesting and passionate people. What do you, what are you expecting from the event? Do you have anything in your mind that you think is going to happen? I don't know, you know, I'm worried my feet are going to hurt from the shoes. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Can you kind of give me an insight into what it's like if you kind of dropped me in to that blue carpet? expect the unexpected when it comes to the guest list when it comes to who it is that you're going to speak to because you might get your your list of of um, nominees and think okay I'm, I'm chatting to these people and then Judy Dench might walk by and you've got to grab her and you just have to go <laughs> and you just have to do it <laughs> oh my god have you actually had to do that with Judy it wasn't Judy but it was okay. <laughs> So I think ultimately I'm excited to be in a room full of actual human beings. Do you know what I mean? Not in like a meeting room where like, all oh, right, this person, sorry, you're on mute. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to do any of that. Or like worrying about talking over each other and someone cutting out and then be like, oh, sorry, I missed that. So I think generally just being full of people, full of joy and just taking it all in. And at least, you know, in real life, you'll know if your jokes are funny or not. Because, you know, on Zoom, no one ever hears them and it gets awkward having to repeat it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sean, what, why do you think independent film is, is so important? I think even things like the pace of a film where you can really get dropped into that character's world, really feel like you get to know them, like their family by the end, that you're feeling the pain or the joy or the anguish and the, or the anger that they're feeling. Um, that often box office doesn't offer, you know, because it's such an onslaught to the senses a lot of the time with those huge films coming out. Um, so I think for me, being able to get the chance to know a character intimately and you see the joy that comes from the actors in that too. You know, you can see them wanting to participate in something that is creatively led rather than driven by numbers, I suppose, and making sure that, well, we need X amount of people watching this or we need this, that and the other. So I think for me, creativity at its finest. Some of my favourite films are, are independent films and Biffa winners, actually. It sort of like, especially in, you know, in a world where everything's sort of throw away and we get everything so instantly, you know, you could be in your instant car on the way home, ordering your instant meal with your instant content on your phone. There's something so nice about the time that it takes and, and the labour of love. It sort of re reminds me that it's OK to take a step back sometimes and do what you love to do and people will navigate towards that they will flock towards it if it's of a certain ilk it's, it's really like reassuring yeah and I love as it. you say yeah I'm like, oh mate I am buzzing for this it's gonna be incredible isn't it it's gonna be amazing I, I'm really excited and, I, and I'm super glad that you're going to be doing it with me as well because it is one of the most exciting 
nights in in British film. What is one piece of advice that you can give me that I can take on the carpet? Biffa isn't just about the the stars on screen. It, it's about the filmmakers, and and that includes writers and directors and and production and 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 other types of contribution towards film. I say give everyone the the same amount of time. We're so excited to be back on the carpet. Join us on Biffa's Instagram on the 5th of December for highlights of the ceremony, red carpet interviews and all the important winner announcements. Uh, Thank you for watching.